today we have a smart battery powered camera. A couple of things that we like right off the bat is that this can uh, connect with your um, phone so that you can get it. It's got an app that you can access from your phone uh, and then go that route. Let's go ahead and open up the box here. Take a look and see what's inside. So there's two boxes in here as well as the installation instructions that you'll want to keep with it. So you've got the instructions here. But in this first box, we have the camera itself. So it's not a terribly large camera, um, but it's got uh, the good lenses on here. And then on the bottom, it's got a tripod or a mounting screw. And then in here, it's also got the charge port as well as a, an expandable uh, memory slot on the back. In this other box, there is the charge cord. So it is a USB, uh, excuse me, it is a micro HDMI cord um, that you would plug into a regular USB charging port uh, to go ahead and get that. And then you also have the mounting hardware. So there is the mounting bracket that is adjustable. So it can rotate whichever way you need to and then you just lock it down with the lock ring here. And then on the bottom here is the uh, mounting screw to put it on the camera itself. So you just screw that on, like that, and then you'll tighten up the lock screw here and then when it's mounted you can put it wherever in whatever position you need to and then you'll just lock it that way and it will stay there with the lock screw here. So we're going to go ahead and put this up above our front door so that we can get a good um, view of our front porch uh, and we will show that installation process and then what it looks like when it's all done and we'll show the app interface as well so that we can get that all set up and ready for it. Alrighty, so we had a little bit of a change of plans. After talking about things with my wife, we have a signpost here right in front of our door that um, would give us the perfect vantage point. So we decided to mount the camera to our signpost, uh, which will give us a great view of our front door. What we'll do now is we're gonna go ahead and download the app so that we can control it, get the live views from the camera, um, and get everything all set up so that it's all ready to go that way. Here we are scanning the QR code to download the app from the app store. Very easy, just scan the code on the inside of the user manual and it'll take you right in to download the app. Follow the installation instructions through your respective app store and it will download and you can go ahead and open up the app when it's all ready to go after it's been downloaded and installed on your device. Once it's downloaded, you go ahead and launch the application. You can set up your notification settings and then you will go through and either sign in if you already have an account or you'll create a new account, um, which is just like creating any other account that you've ever created with anything like that. You'll then connect to the camera using Bluetooth and it will find the camera. You want to find devices on your network and then you will connect to your home Wi-Fi network uh, using the network and password to sign in and connect it to the Wi-Fi there. You will then connect to the internal Wi-Fi network that's generated by the camera so that you can complete the setup and installation and pairing to the mobile app. Once you've connected to the internal Wi-Fi, it will go through the setup and registration process in the app to connect to the network, find the device, register it to the cloud, and then initialize the camera so that you can then use all of the app features such as live view and things like that. It will give you the option to name your device. We just kept ours named as Smart Camera and then it will connect to your home Wi-Fi network so that you can then access the camera from anywhere through that. You can sign up 
for the premium cloud service that they offer, or you can do the 30-day trial. If needed and prompted, you will also want to do the firmware update, which you see there. Here you'll see that there is a screenshot of the captured motion. You can change the motion detection settings uh, and you can also go back and view the recordings after it has uh, captured the motion. Um, but this is a great way to keep tabs on where you're at. Here's where you would change all of those settings with the motion detection, notifications, sleep settings. You can set up an activity zone. Uh, there's also information where you can change the name of the camera and other things that way. Uh, we're really excited about this. The app itself, the interface is very easy to use, uh, very intuitive, so you can keep tabs on uh, the area where you place the camera. Uh, or if you ever needed to, you can also remove the camera and you'd be ready to go that way. You can also share the camera uh, <clears throat> by copying the information and then sending that information to whoever is going to be viewing that. Here you see the live view connecting uh, and you can view this right in the app. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the best video there with showing what it is, but you could see that I was just adjusting the angle of the camera to show our front porch. You'll see where it saves that information on the app, but then here it is again while I'm adjusting that angle to get the right view of our front porch to add that extra security uh, for our house. You are also able to enable the Vico Home skill with the Alexa and then connect the camera to your Alexa device or your Google Home device uh, just by enabling that information there. Very quick and easy process to connect it to the Alexa account and then uh, get the camera set up that way. And here's a picture of the final placement of our camera right there on our front porch on our little signpost. We've already had people make comments that they like where that's at uh, and we like the additional security that adds to our front door area and our front porch. We know when our kids are coming or going or if we have any deliveries or anything else like that that comes up.